right guys, how you doing? It's Rubia, hope you're all good. So in this video, we're talking about practice amps. Now, I work from home, so when I get, when I practice guitar, it's in here. So I generally use the same rig that you see in these YouTube videos. However, in this video, I wanted to talk about a specific practice amp brought to you by Positive Grid, and this is the Positive Grid Spark 40 amplifier. I heard loads about this because it won loads of awards at NAMM 2020, uh, but I had not had a chance to try one until recently when they got in touch and sent this over for me to do a video of and show you guys and check it out for myself. And I have to say, straight off the bat, it's probably one of the most innovative practice amplifiers that I've come across, that being the key word, because there's some really cool features in this thing, which we'll get into in a sec. <laughs> So the Spark 40 is not only an amplifier, a desktop amplifier. It's got two little speakers in the front in stereo for all your nice effects and things. But it's ported in the back so you get a nice, consistent, powerful low end. But also, it's a Bluetooth speaker, so if you're playing music, it's awesome, sounds great. You can obviously play along to that as well. It's also an audio interface, so you can record into your computer if you want to demo stuff and record things using all the different rigs you could get. It's an artificial intelligence learning device. In that, what I mean by that is that you can actually tell it to analyze a song and it will listen to it and work out the chords and then give you like a chord chart so you can jam along to your favorite songs. On top of all that, given the fact that it's Positive Grid, who we know uh, are one of the long-standing members of the guitar modeling and amp modeling sort of digital realm with the bias app and the bias effects and bias amp and stuff, they've been doing it for ages. So if you imagine all that expertise has been distilled into something like this, with things like the apps that you can use, like the iOS apps for your iPhone, your iPad, whatever it is that you use, is so well integrated into this via Bluetooth. And on top of that, they've integrated into things like YouTube. So you can look up any YouTube video, any of your favorite YouTube videos, it will analyze it and then give you the chords underneath, which is insane. So we're gonna do a screen grab with my phone so I can take you through some of the app as well. And obviously it's a guitar amplifier. So with Positive Grid's Tone Cloud, there are absolutely thousands of different rigs you can download from the app, from the Tone Cloud onto here. You can save them to one of the four preset buttons on the front or you could just quickly skim through, tweak and do whatever you want, but you've got four preset buttons on the front that you can save any rig to. So there are loads of features with this thing. I wanna take you through some of the sounds. We'll hear a little bit of the USB direct uh, audio as well, and I'll take you through some of the app. But yeah, this video is about the Spark 40 from Positive Grid. <laughs> So let me show you really quickly how we use the app. In terms of connectivity, just turn the Spark on, then open the Spark app, which you can download. You just scan the QR code that comes with it and it just finds it on App Store. Then it connects automatically via Bluetooth, which is super, I love that. You don't even have to do anything. It just automatically recognizes it and connects. And then you can control everything with your phone. So that's really cool. Or your iPad, it depends. But I've got a screen grab, so you should be able to see. Uh, when you open it up, you've got this main page, which is like your amp cab signal chain situation. So along the top, you've obviously got like a menu there, which you can scroll through to Spotify and Apple Music and actually play those out of the speaker and jam along, which is sick, uh, as you can see. And there are other options there as well, like a metronome for practice, settings and all that sort of stuff. And then in the middle, we've got our channel and uh, you can see you can save one of four different channels, essentially different presets. And then this is really cool because if you swipe along, you see all these different genres here and it brings up different amplifiers and different combinations of effects and stuff. So there are loads of different awesome sounds uh, that you can save, again, to the hardware if you want to, bring them from the Tone Cloud, save them to the Spark. 
Not only that, the Spark is also optimized for bass and acoustic, so they've got bass amps and acoustic preamps and all that sort of stuff, so super versatile. Still in that center bubble, you can see the red re uh, corresponds to what's actually saved into the uh, Spark. Then to the right of that, we've got our Tone Cloud, which again, it's a huge database of, of thousands upon thousands of different sounds uh, that you can filter, you can sort by however you want, genre, whatever. So that's amazing. And then finally on the far right is just your three dots, which allow you to overwrite, save your sound to the Tone Cloud or to the hardware. So really easy. I'm all about really nice user interfaces. So that's cool. Underneath that is our signal chain, as you can see. Along here, you can swipe to the left and to the right to see what's in the signal chain, but it basically gives you a gate, compressor, drive, amp, modulation, delay, and reverb. Uh, to, to engage them, you swipe down. To disengage them, you swipe up. And then for things like drives, amps, and things that have got plenty of other options of tones, you just double tap them, and it brings up a nice little menu of all the different variations of compressor or drive or amp. So there's loads of stuff. Let's have a look. If you got up to, what is that? 30 different amplifiers there. Amazing. So that's the main sort of functionality, how you can control the amp, save your presets, pull stuff from the tone cloud, all that kind of thing. On top of that, it's got speech recognition. So you could actually press a little microphone symbol and tell it to play drums and it would do that, but we'll get into that a bit later. The, uh, and then along the bottom, you've got your different areas of the app. So you've got your amp here. In the middle, you've got music, which is where you can pull things from YouTube, jam along, you can get it to learn different things. So if I search, I can see Asylum here. If I click it, it opens it up in YouTube and it analyzes the chords. Obviously, it depends because I'm playing lead. If I was to skip into that a bit, So hopefully John can edit that so you can see on the screen grab, but essentially it's playing me the fundamental chords underneath my Asylum track. But I just literally searched it on YouTube, pressed it, pressed play, and then it analyzed the chords as best it could and then gave me a really good representation of the chords underneath, which is awesome. And then if you press the top right button here, it, it shows you like a full chord chart and each square represents a bar and it's just so easy to navigate your way through a song if you if that's how you like to practice. I was totally blown away by that. I think that's really, really cool. Um, and of course, you can do that with any song uh, on YouTube. So you can find a backing track if you wanted to and learn the backing track chords and all that kind of stuff. So that is fantastic. Not to mention the serious amount of different genres and tracks and everything listed in this database you can see here. Uh, for example, Smart Jam is something really cool. If I press funk, it will play me a funk drum beat. And I can actually, I'll slow that down a little bit. Let's slow that down to say 95. Of course, that's if you just want to quickly jam over something, you could do that. But I could also hit some speech recognition and go, play drums. It's found a guy called Dave, 85 BPM. All right, let's have a little jam. So now it's heard my little jam, and now it's composing me a little groove. It 
it even listened to work out that I'm tuned to E flat because it's put this bass line in E flat minor seven. That's that's just crazy. Uh, genuinely, I'm so blown away by that. Can you tell? It's like, in terms of practice for people, that's just unlocking so many doors. So I'm really, really impressed just by the practice element of it. Unbelievable. So let's check out some of the tones. Let me start by opening up, as you can see on my screen grab, uh, I'm gonna move across to, let's just go straight to rock, right? What's that? So we've got four channels here that we could actually load into the Spark if we want, but currently it's pulling it from the cloud. So let's start with Modern Stone. See what that sounds like. Modern Stone, that is literally one of the first presets I opened up in the rock category. And it, to be honest, for a strat, bridge pickup. I love how like with practice amps, when they're well designed, they give you that really nice cranked amp sound at a super low compact volume. <laughs> That sounds lovely. So, uh, for example, let's open up this reverb. Let's add a bit more. A bit more level. Tell you what, let's mess with this. I'm going to go to the hall. I like the natural hall one. So, see that immediately to me sounds lovely. So I found a metal rig, this is the 5153 and this is Heavy Axe. <laughs> Thank you. 
was a great high gain lead. I've just loaded up one called Spooky Melody under Alternative. Let's have a listen to that. That is sufficiently spooky. Okay then, so there's a look at the Positive Grid Spark 40 desktop amplifier, practice amplifier, artificial intelligence extraordinaire. I'm genuinely so impressed with this and from the perspective of if you're a student of guitar or just generally anybody that wants to keep learning and just have something that kind of aids them along with that, there are some awesome features in this amplifier for you to utilize in terms of practice. Um, I love the integration with things like YouTube and you can select a video and it learns and analyzes the song, gives you the chords in a chart. That's just unbelievably cool. I love how easy it is to connect your phone and start controlling it and dialing in presets. The sound is great. It's a Bluetooth speaker, audio interface. I mean, what's not to like about all of those features in a little box? You know, it's not the only practice amp in the world, but I must admit it is genuinely one of the most impressive that I've come across in recent times. Um, they all have their own little things, you know, like this one's obviously, you know, focusing on the tone cloud, the artificial intelligence and the user interface, things like Katana Air with the wireless sort of just pick it up and jam, um, you know, and the Wazza headphones and stuff like that. You know, there are loads of different specialities, but the reason we're looking at this one today is because its speciality is to help you learn more guitar, more music and do it in a nice, easy, easy to use fashion. So I'm impressed. If you like this video, let me know what you think in the comments section. Of course, I will link everything to do with Spark into the description box. But yes, thank you Positive Grid for asking me to do this video. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe and share, and I will see you all very soon.